Symbols are about understanding what kind of world we live in, and it explains, it transmits the understanding of how the universe works and the kind of laws we're under. And this is actually a spiritual teaching. Um, mathematics will go into it and try to explain it from the point of view of matter, of it, it, the effect of that on the physical. The ancient knowledge is talking about principles and concepts behind the physical, you see. So to reach that level of understanding, you have to go above the physical. You have to, to rise your mind above the, what you can see, touch, feel, taste, and so on. You have to raise above the physical. And in that sense, you are trans you, you're learning, you're, you're growing in understanding. The ancient expression, growing in, ex in understanding, that's exactly that. You grow in understanding. Whereas if you bring everything down to, oh, it's not laid properly, oh, it's not quite straight, you bring everything down and you don't look at the symbol, you just look at the physical aspect. You bring it down to your own level of what should be right and what should fit your, your idea, you know. But this is a chance now. We have to, to really begin to see the big picture. It's striking that the basic geometrical forms such as circles, squares, triangles, pentagrams, etc. seem to create the basis for the construction in most of the patterns in crop circles. The principle of the golden section and ratio pi is often repeated in the constructions. Is it the geometry that is the key in understanding the phenomenon? Or is it the phenomenon that is the key in understanding a deeper meaning in the geometry? There have been several sensational discoveries that in fact point in that direction. I mean, there's a couple of solutions which are not only astonishingly accurate, they're astonishingly simple, but I'm just amazed that no one in the, in the 2,000 odd years of people studying, the solution, uh, studying this problem haven't discovered before. I mean, breathtakingly simple. The solutions that Alan Brown had found are tied to a known geometrical problem that mathematicians have struggled with for over 2,000 years. The act of squaring the circle with compass and ruler, which involves creating a square and a circle whose perimeters are equal. This in fact is impossible to achieve with 100% accuracy, due to the impossibility of constructing the irrational number pi, which again is used to calculate the circle's circumference. There are known methods on how to get quite close to a solution, but new principles for doing this with an accuracy only limited to the thickness of the pencil line was revealed in a crop circle. In 1997, Michael Glickman discovered that one of the circles that year contained some very special proportions. Uh, what Michael Glickman noticed about that formation was that if you, if you connected up the centers of the four satellite circles, and drew a square, then that square would be in exactly the squared circle proportions as to this circle, which was re represented by the mother circle. So this, this formation encoded a squared circle. Uh, Alan now began to look at crop circles you know, throughout the past 25 years that, that seemed to have the same common proportions. Simple formations with four satellite circles around a center, so-called quintuplets. He understood that these demonstrated the same principle of squaring the circle. What I found that, that the fact that they so comprehensively did it right the way from like the first one I studied in 1983 right the way to the last one I studied in 2002 was that the same notion of the squaring of the circle was being demonstrated in all that body of formations over a 25 year span. On closer studies of these circles, he suddenly discovered new simple and elegant construction methods regarding this problem that had never been seen before. Is it possible that something such as that can suddenly appear by chance in a field of flattened corn? This is just taking the most simple, simple geometry that even a school kid can learn and recombining it in an incredibly simple way, which then allows solutions to just drop out, drop out of the hat as it were. So, I mean, and again, I find that, that is to me an indicator of intelligence. It's not, it's not, fine, it's not going deeper into complexity, it's taking the simplest component part and recombining them in a way which we've just never thought to do. So simple. These new methods connected to squaring the circle uses three basic elements that symbolize the earth, human beings and the wholeness. 
Is a spiritual message hidden here? Is this an encouragement to the human race to seek a new understanding in connection with our relationship to Earth and the wholeness? Strangely enough, this also relates to the difference in size between the Earth and Moon's radiance. You can then run a circle through the center of the Moon, which then squares the circle. And maybe even more remarkable is that the same principle is again noticed in Stonehenge in relation to the distance between the inner and outer stone circles. Did man, some 5,000 years ago, know something that we don't or have forgotten? Or is this again just another coincidence? And when one takes the Earth's diameter and the Earth plus Moon's radius in English miles, so, correspondingly, it relates to the same figures in feet and decimals as to Stonehenge. These figures, 5040 and 7920, are keys to that basic and traditional formulation of number that lay on the root of all ancient culture. 5040 is the first seven numbers multiplied together. 7920 appears by multiplying the next four. The Greek philosopher Plato describes these numbers as the key symbols of the divinely ordered creation. And so another crop circle appears, where the amount of standing and flattened elements also show to be the same figures in a scale of 1 to 10. Its construction is of the most advanced geometry, consisting of 144 circles around a circle. Challenging enough to construct on paper, but in the middle of a crop field at night and even without touching the center of the pattern. This remarkable formation, only lasting a few hours before the harvesters moved in, not only in total clarity symbolizes the DNA spiral, but also the squaring of the circle and the relationship between the earth and moon by divine numbers. And to add it all up, the sum of these two numbers is 1296, which again is 6 times 6 times 6 times 6. In the ancient Greek alphabet, these numbers correlate to letters spelling out a name. That name is Goddess of All Creation. To me, even now, after having lived with this diagram for two years, my hair stands on end, I've got goosebumps, because, you know, you, as a designer, if someone came to me and said, look, I want you to design a picture which has got 792 elements somehow and 504 elements see if you can come up with something interesting to come up with that a rotate a perfect rotating DNA spiral encoding those numbers is in itself a work of genius but then to find that in a wheat field in August they're beautifully formed and it seems to me the most sane way of dealing with this is to accept that this is a demonstration of a level of intelligence and compassion um, towards us which is which is, is pulling us up we have to we have to look at the square in the face and um, I, I think it's a it's a truly extraordinary bit of, of, of intelligence and geometry again new seasons bring new crop circles with fresh original designs and new exciting geometry a circle divided into 13 parts, or divided into 7, 11 and 13 parts. In addition to a row of new fantasy field patterns, many of these are pure logos that advertising agencies would demand a great deal of money to develop. Here we can pick and choose for free. How it was made is not that important. I think, you know, the, these are um, these symbols are messages or means of communication to the human race from some other living creatures. The theory of this not being man-made is backed up by the fact that more and more people have been seeing strange lights and glowing objects in connection with the crop circles. <laughs> 